Hello, grade eight graduates, year 2021. This is Trustee Logan representing DSB1. And I wanted to extend our most sincere congratulations. Uh, each one of you should be extremely proud of your incredible accomplishment. To all the parents, teachers, staff, friends, we'd also like to thank each one of you for your valiant efforts and support through this past year uh, that was another challenging year for all of us. Um, despite the challenges that we all faced, I find it extremely uplifting that we are able to come together uh, to celebrate the incredible accomplishment of the grade eight graduates. Grads, I wanted to say that this is a very special milestone that should be celebrated. But also uh, thinking about this next journey that you're all about to embark on uh, entering into grade nine. I hope each and every one of you take advantage of the next four years and just make the best of it. Uh, please, I encourage you to certainly take courses of interest, um, also to in, engage in and take part in all the extracurricular activities that are of interest to you and really just make the best of it as much as possible. And with that said, Miss, congratulations again, graduates. You did it. You should be very proud of yourself. Uh, have a great summer and everyone, please be safe. Thanks. Take care. Good evening, graduates, families, friends, staff, and special guests. Tonight, we come together to celebrate the class of 2021. On behalf of Mrs. Johansson and Mr. Date, I would like to congratulate you for your academic accomplishments over the past 10 years, and we are truly looking forward to your secondary journey beginning in the fall. I would like to thank Mr. Brown, Ms. McDonald, Ms. Taylor, Ms. Sayo, Ms. Carre, Mr. Briand, Ms. Woods, Ms. Farino, and Ms. Gabriel. They worked very hard to create purposeful learning and exceptional opportunities for all of our students. I would also like to extend my sincere thank you, as should you, to your families and caregivers for guiding you to this milestone. The grit and determination required and demonstrated by all of you is without question a tremendous feat. If 2021 has proven anything to us, it's that life is unpredictable and that education in life is sometimes more about how we anticipate, prepare, react and adapt when our environment is ever changing. We could choose to remember 2021 as a year where things didn't happen. That would be easy, but perspective, my friends, is a choice. We could choose to remember 2021 as the year we worked hard and sacrificed to keep our friends and family safe. The year we worked hard to wear our mask every day, all day. The year we did our self-assessments before coming to school to ensure that in-person learning could continue. The year we remained in our cohorts to keep our direct contact numbers low. The year we chose to work from home to ensure that our loved ones could keep safe. The year we can celebrate by knowing that our efforts were not in vain as not one case of COVID-19 entered our building. A significant achievement and something that each and every one of you should be proud to own. Whether you attended in person or through distance learning, you have demonstrated that you have indeed defined yourselves as a community of learners. A community that has put the well-being of others above yourself something I would argue goes well beyond your grade eight achievement. It is my great pleasure at this time to officially welcome you to grade nine at Temiskaming District Secondary School. Staff have been busy working behind the scenes this year to re-envision programs and experiences in grade nine and beyond. We've challenged ourselves to be creative and think critically about opportunities that we offer and the skills you may require in a future that continues to evolve. The lessons we've learned from our experiences in the virtual environment have and will continue to shape both education and the workplace. The ability to collaborate and adapt to new challenges is quickly becoming a global standard. But most importantly, beyond all of our collective learning experiences in 2021, I hope this. I hope that you are able to truly appreciate the value of relationships. Relationships with your friends, relationships with your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, your grandparents, and your school community. The relationships that you foster with others has never been more important. Now, more than at any other time, it is with resounding clarity that we understand it is our, it is our relationships
and how we engage with each other, how we treat each other, and how we care for each other that is truly important. That kindness matters, that our ability to prioritize the well-being of others is our greatest power. We are eternally optimistic about our future at TDSS. We are optimistic about September. We look forward to the return of the saints in our hallways and our classrooms, to all of our extracurricular activities and club events. We want you to feel passionate about your school and your experiences here. We are often approached to write letters of reference for students. You are beginning a four-year journey with a time to build, create, and inspire to shape your TDSS experience. I'll leave you with this one question. In four years, what would you like us to write about you? Congratulations, have a great summer, be safe. Presenting the 2021 graduates of Tmistming District Secondary School Elementary. Abby Furlot Goddard. Abby has lots of great memories from her past school years. She will never forget playing kick the can in grade six with Mr. Chartrand, and she will never forget going to Camp Bickle with her friends and making new ones too. She would like to thank her friends and family for always being there for her and her teachers for putting up with her over the years. Abby is the recipient of the Allen and Judy Lee Award for Community Involvement. Congratulations, Abby. Austin Hakon. A great memory Austin has is when the school started a fundraiser for his family when his father passed away. His favorite friends over the years have to be Jack, Aiden, Cameron, Riker, and Rylan. He really liked Mr. Hall because of his humor. In the future, Austin plans to be a content creator for YouTube. His favorite school trip was when they went to the African Lion Safari and finally, he would like to thank Mr. Brown for being such a great and supportive teacher. Austin Haken is the recipient of the Lyndon Knight Innovation and Technology Award. Congratulations, Austin. Ava Robinson. Ava loved playing on the school volleyball team last year. She has many great memories from elementary school, including a great trip in grade three where she got to go on the train. Ava would like to thank her mom for pushing her so hard to do well in school and her sister for being such a great friend. Emma Hartsky. Emma has many happy memories in her years of elementary school. She will never forget her favorite teacher, Madame Joilette, who taught her for three years. Emma would like to thank all her teachers and mentors over the years, and she would like to thank all of her family and friends for always having her back and being there for her. She would not be the person who she is today without everyone in her life, so she says thank you. Hannah Lavalley. Hannah's favorite memory is the volleyball tournament last year. She will always remember her grade five, six teacher, Miss Goddard, because she was so much fun. Hannah wants to thank all her teachers for helping her. She wouldn't be here without them. She would also like to thank her family and friends for always being there for her. Hannah is the recipient of the Wes Willard Math Award. Congratulations, Hannah. Jack Byerley. Jack has many great memories from elementary school. He looks forward to his European trip and exciting opportunities in high school.
Javen Bedard. Javen loves to skateboard and to play video games. He wants to thank his dad for always being there for him. Jenna Schroeder. Jenna has many great memories from Kearns and TDSS. She loves being creative and she's looking forward to all the opportunities that high school brings to her. Carly Sweeney. Carly has multiple great memories throughout elementary school. She's looking forward to going into high school. She would like to thank her parents for always being there for her. Carly is the TDSSE Award recipient for the Willard Bust Lines Award for Dedication and Diligence. Congratulations, Carly. Kristen Morrow. Kristen is looking forward to high school. She would like to thank Ms. Goddard for introducing her to bird banding. Kristen Morrow is one of the recipients of the TDSSE Geography Award. Congratulations, Kristen. Kylie Grant. Kylie has many great memories from elementary school. She looks forward to the challenges of high school. Landon Connors. One of his favorite things about elementary school was track and field. One of his greatest friends is Jack Byerly and his favorite teacher was Mr. Hall. He hopes to pass grade 12 and he will never forget what school was like during COVID-19. He loved his trip to Science North and he likes to thank all of his teachers that have taught him along the way. Liam Hindle. Over the past 10 years, Liam has many great memories and he's met some really amazing people. One memory that sticks out for Liam is when he lost his shoe while running in track and field, and it was called Cinderella because of it. Liam would like to thank his friends for being there for him all the time. Logan Broderick. Logan has lots of excellent memories from elementary school and she's looking forward to all the opportunities that high school will bring to her. Nithya Jolka. Nithya had many great memories through her school years. She would like to thank all her teachers from the past who helped build her future. She appreciates her family and friends support Something Nithya will never forget is the trivia game she played in Mr. Brown's class. Nithya is one of the recipients of the TDSSE Academic Excellence Award. Nithya is a recipient of the Kemp Peary French Award, the TDSSE History Award, the TDSSE English Award, and the Valedictorian Award. Congratulations, Nithya. Noah Gregor. Noah loves playing video games, basketball, and sleeping. He would like to thank his classmates for helping him with schoolwork and other things outside of school. Ryland Bruce. Ryland's favorite memories from school are laughing with friends and phys ed. His future goals are to be happy in life and have no regrets. He would like to thank Mr. Brown for making learning fun. He would also like to thank his friends and family for making him laugh every day and having his back.
Rylan has been awarded the MC Napper Citizenship Award and the OPC Leadership Award. Congratulations, Rylan. Sapphire Hubbard. Sapphire has many great memories, like the time she and her best friend competed in a soccer tournament in grade six. Her favorite teacher was from fourth and fifth grade, and something that she'll never forget was the all the time that she got to hang out with her best friend. Sapphire would like to thank all of her cousins and her grandparents for supporting her and being there. She'd also like to thank her friends for all the great memories. Sarah Andrzejczyk. Sarah has many great memories in school. Her favorite memory is going to treetop trekking with her family. For the past several years, she has made many great friends. Her favorite school trip was going to Camp Bickle with her friends. Sarah would like to say a special thank you to her mom for being their, her number one supporter. Sarah is the recipient of the Styles by T-Math Award, the Lions Club Citizenship Award, the Etfo Local One Cooperation and Leadership Award in memory of Montana Heon. Congratulations, Sarah. Thor Goudreau. A fond memory Thor had was his very first field trip where he went skiing and snowboarding. Even though he didn't make it the whole day because he crashed and got a concussion. He will never forget that. Thor is looking forward to all the opportunities that high school brings to him. Thor is the recipient of the TDSSE Care and Compassion Award. He's also the recipient of the Pat Valton's Art Award. Congratulations, Thor. Zoe Iman Buker. Zoe joined the class mid-year this year. She's really looking forward to TDSS at the secondary level. Gabby Joy. Gabby loved elementary school at St. Pat's. She's really looking forward to everything that high school has to offer. Kyla Bilo has many great memories of her time here in grades seven and eight. She would like to thank her friends and family for helping her get this far and she's looking forward to high school. Hayden Grant. Hayden's favorite memory from school is getting to pie Mrs. Parody in the face. He is most looking forward to taking some hands-on tech and cooking classes in high school. His favorite teachers were Mrs. Francoeur, Mrs. Parody, and Mrs. O'Donnell. Tiffany Thompson. Tiffany is looking forward to taking some art courses in high school. In the future, Tiffany wants to work for the family business. Her favorite teacher was Mrs. Frank Hoare. <music> Tiffany Thompson is the proud recipient of the TDSSE Inspiration Award. Ariel has many wonderful memories from the past 10 years at school. One of Ariel's good memories is in science class where she actively participated in the experiments in explosions. Ariel would like to thank all of her teachers and support staff over the past 10 years. Ariel would like to thank Mrs. Belanger for making her NLPS years exciting. 
Ariel would also like to thank all of her family and friends for always being there for her. Ariel is the award recipient for the TDSSE Saint Award. Congratulations, Ariel. Ben has been blessed with many wonderful teachers and educational assistants who have supported and helped him along the way. He is grateful for the warmth of his classroom community and is also very thankful to the teachers, coaches and community members who have provided inclusive opportunities for sport. Ben would also like to thank his parents, brother, grandparents, aunts and uncles, along with cousins who cheer him on every step of the way. Ben is the award recipient for the Believe and Achieve Award. Congratulations, Ben. Erica Perry. Erica has many great memories from elementary school. She would like to thank her family and teachers and looks forward to all the opportunities in high school next year. Cameron Williamson. Cameron's favorite memory from school is the class trip to the plowing match in Verner. His favorite teachers were Mrs. Francoeur and Mrs. Parody. Cameron is interested in taking an agritech course in high school. Andrew Aitchison. Andrew has many memories of the last 10 years in school. He will never forget his grade 8 teachers. His favorite memory on a school trip was the first night at Camp Bickle. He would like to thank his friends and family for always supporting him. Danny Lynn Baudouin. Danny Lynn will remember all the laughs and all the fun they had through the years. Even when COVID hit, that didn't end anything. Her teachers always made sure they were having the most fun they possibly could and helping them the most they could in the ways that were best for them. She would like to thank her classmates and her teachers, but a special thank you to Mr. Patterson. Thank you, TDSSE. Cameron Caldwell. Cameron has many great memories from his past 10 years at school. He will never forget his favorite teacher, Madame Seyou. He would like to thank all his teachers over the years. He would also like to thank his family and friends for always being there for him. Ben Conlin. Ben has a lot of good memories, but the best one was probably when he slipped and fell on cardboard box in grade 8. He would like to mention his 6th grade teacher, Mr. Norris and Ms. Pellegrino. His future goal really is to just be successful. A fond memory would be when his class split into two groups and explored cobalt. His favorite part was going to the mine. A big thank you to all of his teachers from the past. Paige Cook. Paige really enjoyed playing sports. She looks forward to playing them in high school as well. She also looks forward to becoming a detective after high school. Madeline Ducharme. Maddie has many great memories from elementary school, like Camp Bickle or watching movies at lunch. She would like to thank her friends and her family for always supporting her. Maddie is the TDSSE award recipient of the Thornlow Crossroads Baptist Church Music Award. 
She is also a recipient of the OPC Leadership Award. Maddie is also the recipient of the TDSSE Positive Role Model Award. Congratulations, Maddie. Ava Emmon. Ava's best memories are with her friends. She will always remember her coach and grade six teacher, Mr. Norris. She would like to thank her friends and family for always being there for her. Ava is one of the recipients of the Active One Sorcerer Sports Athletic Award. Congratulations, Ava. Mason Elliott. Mason has many great memories from elementary school. In particular, he really enjoyed playing volleyball. His favorite teacher was Mrs. Sayu. Paisley Glassford. Paisley enjoyed the memories from the school trip where they went to Fort Temiskaming. Paisley will never forget all of the kind and loving teachers at TDSE and NLPS, especially Madame Lafon. Paisley's future goal is to become a better artist and learn more about animation. Paisley is thankful for all of the years at NLPS and TDSS. Paisley is the recipient of the Sparky Award. This award is referred to as the Nice Kid Award. Nice is an adjective that many use to describe Mr. Sove, who this award is in memory of. Congratulations, Paisley. Ethan Graydon. Ethan has had many great experiences at school over the past decade. For example, during Christmas time when the class would get together and relax and just have some fun. He would like to thank his friends for all the great memories he has had with them and will continue to have with them in the years ahead. Finally, Ethan would like to thank his family for helping him throughout his time at school. Spencer Green McNair. Spencer has great memories from the past 10 years at school. He will never forget his best friend. Thank you to Madame Sayo for helping him when he needed help. He will never forget the first time he came to this school. Lacey Hastings. Lacey has had many great memories with her friends at school. She would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers for helping her succeed. She would also like to thank her coaches throughout the years. Hayden Lickup. Hayden will never forget his favorite math teacher, Mr. Patterson. His future goal is to graduate from high school and get into a good college. A great memory was from a field trip when a kid was drying his water bottle at Camp Bickle. A big thanks goes out to Madame Sale for making this school year a bit more interesting. Hayden Lickup is one of the recipients of the TDSSE Geography Award. He is also the recipient of the 28 on the Lake Teamwork Award. Congratulations, Hayden. Caitlin Laranger. Throughout the years, Caitlin has made memories that will last a lifetime, from when she was little playing in the sandbox with her best friends to having to wear a mask at school every day. Even though this year wasn't ideal, she still has made so many memories and hopes to continue making many more. She would like to thank the people who she, who she was surrounded by through her childhood, all her teachers and her family for always being supportive and helping her accomplish her goals.
Caitlin is the recipient of the TDSSE Dedication Award. Congratulations, Caitlin. Jack Ludholm. Jack has made many memories over the short two years he's been here at TDSS, but his fondest is the warm welcome he received on his first day of school. He would like to thank his family, friends and teachers for helping him get through these two interesting years and is looking forward to moving on to high school. Jack Ludholm is the TDSSE award recipient of the highest academic standing. He is also the recipient of the TDSS Academic Excellence Award, the Styles by T Math Award, the Kemp Peary French Award, and Jack is also the recipient of the Wilson Chevrolet Science Award. Congratulations, Jack. Owen Norris. Owen had some great memories. One of his favorite is when he won every basketball tournament. His favorite friends are the boys. One great teacher was Mr. Norris. Some of his future goals are to graduate high school. A big thank you goes out to all of his coaches. Owen is one of the recipients of the Active One Sorcerer Sports Athletic Award. Congratulations, Owen. Maya Pollock. Maya will remember all the fun that they had in class and even when things were harder because of COVID. All of her teachers have always made sure that they were enjoying what they were doing and they wanted the best for them. She would like to thank all her teachers and classmates, but a special thanks to Mr. Patterson. Thank you, TDSSE. Maya Pollock is the TDSS Award recipient for the Perseverance Award. Congratulations, Maya. Vincent Popke. Vincent is a passionate goalie as well as a talented drummer and guitar player. He would like to thank his teachers for their patience with him as he adapted to a new school this year. He's excited for high school, but most of all, for summer break. Isabel Puhaka. Isabel has many great memories of elementary school. She especially loves art class and loves becoming a talented artist. Isabel is looking forward to all of the opportunities that come from high school. David Seyu. David has many great memories from his time in elementary school. Some of his favorite moments were playing football with his friends and Mr. Patterson. He would like to thank his friends and his mom and dad for their continued support over the years. David is a recipient of the TDSSE History Award, the Etfo Local One Cooperation and Leadership Award in memory of Montana Heon, and the Valedictorian Award. Congratulations, David. St. George. Sarah's made many great friends at school. She would like to thank David for being such a great friend to her. She will always remember this class. Sarah would also like to thank Madame Seo for always helping her. Nash St. Germain. Nash would like to thank all of his teachers and friends for helping him get to where he is today. People like Mr. Norris for all, and all the other teachers who helped him get through these years. 
He had friends like Cameron, Ben, Hayden, Sam, and many others with him through the years. He will never forget all the trips and activities that he did while at NLPS, especially to Camp Bickle. He wishes everyone a good year at grade 9 and everything after. He thanks everyone for everything they've done. Addison Haru. Addie has so many fond memories from these past school years. The best ones were spent with her friends. A future goal of hers is to become a chiropractor. Cassie Hopkins. Cassie will always remember all the positive encouragement that she has received during her time at NLPS and TDSSE. Her friends and teachers have made school a lot of fun and she looks forward to creating more memories in high school. Her friends, teachers and family have helped her get through these challenging times. Jada Hopkins. Jada has enjoyed her last five years at NLPS and TDSSE. She has made some great friends over the years and has enjoyed participating in many different sport activities. She's looking forward to high school and would like to thank her friends and her family for their support and encouragement. Blake Johnson. Blake has many great memories over the past 10 years at school. He would like to thank his coaches over the years. He will never forget all of the great teachers he's had in the past. He also has so many good memories at all the sports tournaments with his school. Sam Koistinen. Sam has plenty of fond memories over the elementary years. One of his favorites was the long days after school training for cross country. Of course, all of that grueling training came through when they got to get McDonald's on their way home from the meet. He wants to thank all of his teachers and peers over the years. Sam is the recipient of the TDSSE Spirit Award. This award goes out to someone who demonstrates school spirit and perseverance inside and outside of the classroom. Congratulations, Sam. Malcolm Bengo. Some of Malcolm's best memories are from 2019 when everything was normal. He'd go out for lunch with his good buds, Jack, Landon, and Rylan. Some of his favorite teachers were Miss Brazo and Mr. Hall because of the laughter they brought to the classroom. His future goals are to graduate high school and attend police foundations. He'd like to thank his father for helping him get through all the years of being enrolled in school. Jonas Bowen. One of Jonas's favorite memories from grade eight is going on bike rides with his best friend, Jesse. He would like to thank Mr. Chang, Mr. White, and Mr. Cam from his old school for motivating him into wanting to get into a career involving high design and building machines. Jonas would like to thank all of the wonderful people in his life for getting him to this point. Riley Can. A good memory for Riley this year was doing Here's the Scoop in Math and playing pickleball. Some of his favorite teachers were Mr. Young from Princess Elizabeth School, and Mrs. Taylor, Mrs. McDonald, Miss Gabriel, and Mr. Brianne from TDSS. Riley's future goals are to be good at woodworking, computers, and fixing cars. Something Riley will never forget is how wonderful and nice the teachers were at his new school. Cohen Fishes. Cohen has had an amazing time at TDSS these past two years. He's made a lot of friends and he's had a lot of fun learning new things. He's looking forward to continuing his high school years at TDSS.
Linda Crossley. Linda has many great memories from her 10 years at school. She will never forget her friends or her third grade teacher. Her future goal is to become a famous artist. She will never forget when she caught a huge water beetle at Hilliardton Marsh. She would like to thank all of her friends and family for always being there for her. Jamie Hines. Jamie enjoyed hanging out with his friends and having fun at school. Jamie really enjoyed activity days, especially when they got to play outside all day. Jamie would like to thank his amazing teachers, Mrs. Taylor, Mrs. McDonald, and Mrs. Gabriel for helping push him along. CJ Fleming. A good memory CJ ha has was his last day of grade six. He was excited to come to TDSS. Some of his favorite friends are Javen, Gabby, Jenna, Jesse, and Liam. His future goals include graduating from high school. One of his favorite memories is his field trip near the end of grade six when his feet got soaked from a puddle. He would like to say thank you to his family and friends for being there for him. David Nelson Henry. David would like to thank his friends, teachers, and family for giving him the push he needed to graduate. His best friends are Malcolm, Hayden, Gurry, and CJ. His favorite memory is when he was in his favorite teacher's class, Mrs. Taylor's class. Something David will never forget is when Mrs. Taylor gave out licorice to him and his peers. When David grows up, he wants to join the military and fight for his country. David is a recipient of the TDSSE Improvement Award. David is also the, one of the recipients of the Sparky Nice Kid Award. Congratulations, David. Link Holson. Link had fun while he was at school. Even though it wasn't for very long, he met some nice people. Link would like to thank his grandma and brother for always being there for him. Link Polson is a recipient of the TDSSE Academic Excellence Award. He is also the recipient of the 21st Century Global Awareness Award. Congratulations, Link. Hayden Wormke. Hayden would like to thank all of his friends and Mrs. Taylor for all the support they gave him this year. Hayden's excited for the challenges of high school. Jesse Morrison. One of the biggest reasons Jesse was able to make it through grade eight was because of his supportive friends. Jesse is excited to meet up with them again in grade nine. One of Jesse's most fondest memories was when he met some of them. Made grade seven the best year of his life. At least so far, Jesse is excited to explore all the options in grade nine and see what doors open for him. Riker Yando. Riker has many fond memories from elementary school and tomogamy. Riker looks forward to the challenges of high school next year. Layla Kennedy. Layla is looking forward to the challenges of high school. Logan Brown. Logan has many fond memories of elementary school. Logan looks forward to all the different opportunities in high school. Shanoa Polson. 
Shinoa has made many great memories in elementary school. Shinoa looks forward to the opportunities available at high school next year. Melody Griffin. Melody has enjoyed the past 10 years of school and all the events and activities that have gone on have given her amazing memories and a couple new friends. Whether it be from sports or just a field day, joined with more than one school, she has made so many friends over the years and is excited to start a new chapter. Melody would like to end this chapter by thanking her past coaches, teachers and peers. Zachary Dietrich. One of Zach's favorite memories from growing up was when he helped his grandpa build stuff. Zach wants to become a mechanic, just like his dad and grandpa. His favorite teachers in school would be Miss Hodgson and Mr. Norris from NLPS. Mr. Norris called him Zach Attack. Zach can't wait until he sees his best friend Ben again. He would like to thank his parents for teaching him to be a great brother to his three sisters and for teaching him to never give up when things get hard. David Sayu. And I'm Nithya Joka. Before we begin, we would like to give a big thank you to everyone for attending today. Thank you graduates, teachers, and families, and a big thank you to our whole community. The other day, we were talking about what inspiration we could provide and tried to figure out what all of the graduates had in common. And we realized that we do all have this one thing in common. We have no idea what we are doing. We don't know what awaits us in high school? We don't know what struggles and opportunities we will face. It's half exciting and half scary. But at least we know we are moving forward together into the unknown. While we are excited for the memories and experiences that we will gain, why don't we take this time to look back on some of our fond memories of elementary school. Like our fun trip to Camp Bickle, where we sang songs by the campfire. Or the time during the fall fair parade when Sam Koisnin wore the massive bee costume. I have never seen someone sweat that much. I like most of us had a fun time playing sports with Mrs. Patterson, such as football or capture the flag. For those of you who are Mr. Norris's class, at some point you may recall his nicknames for everyone, like Knit Knit for me, or Blake Johnson's famous Jake Blonson. Very original. I was given the name Dent to Go. It's a long story. We don't have to go into it. Maya Paul was given the nickname May May. Well, Cassie Hopkins was also given the name Casey, but my favorite by far is Mad Dog, given to Maddie Ducharme. To the people who are Miss Shaw's class, you may remember the Zen Den. For when we used to feel down or anxious, we always had the Zen Den. Even this year, lots of us played trivia with Mr. Brown, and we always tried to beat each other. For some of you who are Mr. Sharshon's class at some point, you may remember playing a multiplication card game. The best strategy in this game was the second you flip the card, it's just something random and helps distract your opponent. Many of us also joined a club called Me To We, where we all did fundraisers and made a closet filled with clothes for people who really needed it. If you, any of us were in Miss McCarty's class, you would remember her huge wood blocks or her Polly Pocket dolls. In Miss Soto's class, many of us remember having jobs such as banker, police officer, or custodian, or having to pay rent for our desk. Despite the fact that it was a crazy year with online school, many of us persevered as students, teachers, principals, and parents. We'd like to th especially th thank all the teachers for all they've done with us and for the continued support they've given us throughout the years. We thought we would talk about the top 10 things we learned from elementary school. Number 10, how much a dodgeball actually hurts. I'm sure everyone here has been hit in the face by a dodgeball at least once, and we can all agree it doesn't feel good. Number nine. We all learned or made funny noises on various instruments and poor Miss Ross had listened to us play all the class. Number eight, many of us used small yellow clocks in second grade to learn how to tell time. For a while, those were super frustrating. Who needs a yellow clock when we have a digital time anyway? Number seven, the Terry Fox run. I think we can all agree that we have fun memories of uh, running with your friends and I'm glad it's a tradition we will take to high school. Number six, the Spring Fling was definitely a fun event that I'm sure many people enjoyed, especially the bouncy castles. Our parents spent 
spent loads of money and almost everyone went home with a wonderful plastic toy at the end. Number five, I think most of us enjoy playing exhibition sports during recess. So a special thanks to Mr. Date and Mr. Bose for organizing that. Number four, one thing I'm sure many of us remember is playing cat and mouse with the col colorful parachute in gym class. I think everybody enjoyed being the mouse as you got to hide inside the parachute. Number three, the variety show was definitely something many of us did well in. And it was great seeing so many people perform. It was always pretty great to see the talent that our peers demonstrated. Number two, the fall fair was definitely the highlight of the year for some of us. From the scavenger hunt to the rides, it was all really fun. Oh, and spinning around and around without getting sick was also fun. And number one is definitely all the life lessons we learned and the support we have from our families and teachers so that we'll use for the rest of our lives. Thanks again for everyone for attending. We would like to remind everyone to be proud of who you are and where you have been as it shapes the person you are today and it will be in the future. Congratulations to all the graduates. We've persevered through a pandemic and virtual school and we have great opportunities and adventures ahead of us.